How's everybody doing? This is Sully138, bringing you uh, Team Deathmatch gameplay on the map uh, Rush, I believe. It's on the new Vengeance DLC map pack that just came off uh, PlayStation 3 the other day. And this was uh, my first like real look at the maps. I played uh, this map, Detour, Uplink, and I forget what the other one's called. I played them all, and, and my first impressions was was I got bored really quick. I, like Uplink I like a lot, even though it's a reskin of uh of the map from uh the first black ops but um rush i like a lot but rush is probably the first map that i actually like run around the center of the map because of how much cover there is and um i tend to stay away from let's the go, edges I, I notice everybody likes to run up in those uh the second floor where those plywood buildings are right to the right of the map from where i'm standing and uh, I tend to stay away from that. I only go in there if uh, a UAV's up and I notice one guy's there and I, I'm near the entrance. Maybe I'll go in and try to get him. And, and uh, But other than that, I try to stay away from the insides. And uh, But I like how um, the the other building, the, like the warehouse where all the paintball, like the blue, um, they're like these, like like the gym mats, but they it's like a little, right here, This these little courses. I like this right here because you have lots of cover and... Uh, and you, you can pretty much flank the enemy if um, if, they, if they don't see you, if they're behind cover. I, I, I like that setup. That's pretty cool. But other than that, I try to stay away from the insides of the buildings when I can. And uh, there's a good example of, of uh, when I get blasted by a guy with a shotgun in that window right there. And, and I had no business being over there. But I noticed there was a guy standing behind that cone. So I capped him and then I got blasted in the face with a shotgun. I only died three times in this match and then I went on a 11 kill streak and then but the match ended we we ended up losing it. Everybody on my team went negative and it was weird because I thought you know it was these guys were a piece of cake in my opinion. Like I I've I've been playing a lot of games uh the last few days and I've had some pretty tough matches where I'm barely breaking even but this one I was just flowing and 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 killing so easily and uh this is the part where I'm talking about boom get blasted right there with that shotgun and that's why I try to stand stay away from these plywood areas cuz there's a lot of shotgun use right here too and I noticed a lot of people like to camp up in here and I don't know I just was just checking it out so my my first time in this map I love that double kill right there but um I don't know. Overall, it's not my favorite map pack. Um, it's it's it keeps the game fresh, that's for sure. Like I I really haven't been playing that much up until uh, these last couple days, just trying to get used to these maps. But um, I went back to the regular maps, like after like one or two runs with this with the new uh, DLC, because it's I don't know, it just got boring real quick, and I I think it's pretty much is it's I'm just sick of the same old you know facing people with uh, the Remington shotgun and. And a lot of people lately, I don't know if, if it's just me, but it seems like a hell of a lot more people are using target finders these days. And in my opinion, it's the worst uh, attachment, whatever perk slash equipment that's ever been installed on a Call of Duty game is the target finder. It's, I think it's the worst thing that's ever happened to Call of Duty, um, besides Black Ops 2 in general. I'm <laughs> just kidding, but uh, I, I, I do enjoy Black Ops 2, but it, it definitely has its moments more so than other Call of Duty games where it just makes me want to put down the controller and not play it again until I get that itch, you know, it's like, it's like a drug addict saying he's never going to do heroin again, but, you know, his body ends up craving for it, and that's just like me, I end up craving to play Call of Duty games because, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's, Call of Duty's like hit or miss for me, I either get that adrenaline pump in when I'm getting good gameplays, or I get beasted by Target Finder campers who just just ruin it for me and just I instantly want to shut it off or, or play something else or just not play anything at all uh, hit or miss right but um, I hope you enjoy the rest of this gameplay I got some more gameplays coming up I haven't been active on my channel for a while because um, I don't know I it just it's hard when my, my kids are on summer vacation it, it's hard to get some quiet time to get some, some of these commentaries going so I, I apologize for that but but um Definitely come in September when my kids are back in school. I'm going to be pumping out a lot more videos. So uh, stay tuned and look forward to that. I hope everyone's had a great week. And I hope uh, you enjoy the rest of this weekend. I know Call of Duty's got the double weapon XP going right now. I don't know. How, I know for a PlayStation 3 anyways, uh, it might be for all uh, platforms. But uh, enjoy and I'll be talking to you all soon. Peace out. Care package awaiting order. Yeah.
advised, hostile UAV incoming. Counter UAV on standby. Failed. Bring it next time. That's confirmed. Kill confirmed. <laughs> <laughs>